Good morning, class. Today we're going to continue with midterm presentations. Uh, Holly, do you want to start us off? Effects of Classroom Crowding on Test Taking. Introduction. This topic first caught my attention when I attended Russell Square Middle School. My, my English class was crowded by over 40 students. Um, this environment proved to be harmful when test averages started dropping. At first glance, the school board thought that these drops were caused by the teacher. Um, it, they assumed that students were not receptive to her more conservative classroom structure. Um, the school board assumed that students were not receptive to, sorry, I already read that. It wasn't until one day there weren't enough desks in the room that people finally noticed a problem. The janitor assumed all 40 desks did not belong in the same room and moved them elsewhere. A concern was raised when students showed up and did not have a place to sit. The teacher went to search for more desks and then attention was brought to the problem. The principal was informed of the situation and Maybe you didn't have enough time to prepare. Do you think that's what it was? Okay, um, well why don't you go home and look over the slides and then you can present again on Friday. This Friday? It's the latest I can push it. Midterm grades are due on Monday. Oh, yeah, I totally understand. No, please, tell me more. Sorry, just give me like five more seconds. <laughs> oh, you cracked me up. All right, well, look, I, I gotta go. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, totally sorry to keep you waiting. Um, it's nice to meet you. Holly? We've met. You were my health teacher last year. Of course, yeah. Um, okay, so why don't we start by you, um, telling me what brings you here? I, I ran out of the room while giving a presentation in science. Well, why do you think that happened? I don't know, because I was nervous. Is this your first time having feelings of anxiety? No. Uh, have you ever sought professional help for your anxiety? No. Have you ever abused or considered abusing a substance to help cope with your anxiety? No. Wait, are you reading these questions off a script? No. <laughs> no. Um, Holly, can I be completely honest with you right now? Okay. You think too much. I think too much? Yeah, just, just chill out. Did mommy tell you that I'm center stage for the dance recital? She did. We practiced pirouettes today. They said that mine were the best. Did you know your great aunt was a dancer? As a teenager, she performed in the Polish National Ballet. So it looks like you have some good genes behind you. <laughs> mommy, why is Holly acting weird? Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Lizzie, I already told you your sister had a rough day. What happened? Daddy, is Holly 
probably becoming crazy. Can you tell her to shut up? What did I say about shut up? We don't use that here. Apologize now. No. She was being mean first. She should apologize. She's just concerned about you. She wasn't doing it on purpose. Yeah, I wasn't doing it on purpose. Yes, she was. No, I wasn't. Holly, apologize to your sister. No. <laughs> I didn't mean to be mean. See, Holly, your sister loves you. She doesn't love me. I do love you. Bullshit. That's enough. Now nobody leaves this table until you apologize now. At first glance, the school boards assumed this drop in grades was caused by the teacher. At first glance, the school boards thought that... Why are you talking to yourself? Can you mind your own business? I need to pee. Use the downstairs bathroom then. No, that one has spiders. So, deal with it. What are all those red dots on your face? I don't have red dots on my face. Yes, you do. They're right there and there and there. They're like everywhere. So? So, it looks weird. You're weird. Maybe you'd be more popular if you didn't have red dots all over your face. So sometimes when I feel panic coming on, I write down song lyrics until I feel better. It's a great distraction for when you're in class because it looks like you're taking notes when you're actually not. Sometimes I write down the things my ex-boyfriend used to tell me before we'd fall asleep, like how he loved me and thought I was too good for him before he broke up with me. And then I just looked down at the sheet and I just tear it into a little tent. Yes? Can I talk to you about something? Of course. Tell me everything. It's just that... Sometimes I feel like I don't know how to act. What do you mean? Like, I don't know how to not be nervous. I've been thinking that maybe I need medication. Can you explain some of your physical symptoms? Um, yeah. My heart starts beating really fast, and my palms get clammy, and my stomach drops, and I get sweaty and dizzy, and... Are you typing this in on WebMD right now? Um, it, uh, it sounds like you have a life-threatening, crippling anxiety disorder. What? Well, that's not uncommon. I, I have anxiety, too, and when I go on planes, I have to take something called Xanax. See, I'm uh, traveling next week, so I have a new prescription. But that's something you need to see a psychiatrist for. And... Nicole? Yes? Can I have a word outside? Of course. BRB. Why don't you go and wish your sister good luck? She has a solo tonight. Good luck. Did mom make you say that? No. Yeah, right. It won't stay up unless you use bobby pins. I don't like them, they poke my head. Cause you're putting them in wrong. How's that? Good. Lizzie? Yeah? Do you ever get nervous when you go on stage? Sometimes. You never seem like you are, though. Because I know I'm a good dancer. Like how you're good at science. If you know you're good at something, you shouldn't be afraid to do it. I am pretty good at science. I'm the best in my class, actually. All right, you're not that good at science. Well, you're not that good at dancing. Mom, Holly said I'm a bad dancer.
the effects of classroom crowding on testing.